So hi everyone, welcome to the Eantric session. Uh, we are very happy to have one of the champions of uh, Eantra alumni uh, who has participated in the hackathon uh, in EYRC and also interned with us. So I have with me uh, from Sastra University, Panda Sai Sankara Kesavanath. And uh, he's really been, you know, a champion uh, a uh, student who has been doing a lot of stuff. So I'm very happy to have him here. So uh, I'll welcome Sai to uh, speak about his journey of e -antra. Thanks a lot, sir. First of all, um, it was great hearing from you about the introduction and it was really great. So thanks for the introduction, sir. Basically, uh, as sir introduced, I am currently pursuing my fourth year in Sastha University and myself, Panda Sai Shinkhasana. Basically, uh, along with being a student, I am a YouTuber on YouTube with uh, almost uh, one lakh ten thousand subscribers. So my journey with Eantra started right from the first day in my college. So basically, when I joined my college, there was one club in our college called RCS, Robotics Club at Sastra. So this was the club that everyone wanted to get in right from the first day because of the stuff they do in because of the projects that were displayed to us during the expo of the club and all. So from the day when the club started in the college, there was one thing that was always kind of uh, pondering in the minds of everybody in RCS that was getting into the finance of Eantra and winning something there. So that had been the motive of many RCS, RCSians, actually people who were present, my seniors, my juniors, everybody had that kind of opinion. So. Eantra was part of our RCS even before I joined our college. So basically, so when I joined the club, it was like uh, we have to do something for Eantra. We have to kind of at least go till the finals and all. So that was there in our minds always. So the day had come and our seniors were like, um, apply for Eantra and the date have come. So uh, don't wait for the deadline, all these things. So finally, when I was in the second year, I participated in uh, Eantra, EYRC competition, robotics competition. So when task one just started, what really happened was the pandemic stuck in and we were all sent to our homes. So in the home, we started doing this task one. But unfortunately, the thing was we did not qualify for the next rounds. The reason being a simple silly mistake. And that is something that I'll remember <laughs> forever. And uh, that really helps. Actually, mistakes that you make in competitions of this scale will be kind of uh, remembered forever in your life and that's kind of really good so that mistake which we done was so in the code that we write we have to mention several paths to the folders from which uh, eantra will be testing our code so kind of they'll be testing our code based on several other test cases that they have in the back end so in order to get data from there they will not test or not uh, kind of um, mingle with the code they'll just give the code to the back end system and it will test so the path that we mentioned in the code was a relative path and not the actual path. So relative path is something that is specific to my laptop and it would be different from this for the backend system of Yendra. So what really happened was our score was zero. <laughs> so this made us kind of um, not proceed into the further rounds. So we were kind of, uh, okay, let's try in the third year. So because we were like, okay, this is over for this year. This is the last chance that we had and that's done. But then, uh, Really, frankly speaking, we were really happy. We were really happy when we saw the announcement of uh, Eantra Hackathon being taking place. So that was the first time when Eantra announced a hackathon, and it was one of its kind, basically. So, but finally, when the result came, uh, we were one of the participants who got selected in the app category. So, in the app development category, we were the winners in the hackathon. I was very kind of uh, uh, lucky to come up with flying colors and get the internship at Eantra. So that was a two month internship in Yandra. So that two months internship was again, a uh, really great experience. And moreover, we were told on the first that, uh, just try to kind of get novelty and try to get a research paper published. So this is what we were told by Kavisar on the first day of the internship. So we were all kind of really, uh, worried, like, would we be able to do this? Because this is something which we were not familiar with and. I being a second year student and he being a third year, third year student who were never a part of this uh, community of deep learning were completely new and we were even not part of our research community as well. So it is completely new. But Ian gave us a conference. So 
you have that skill in you just bring it out so there was nothing new that yantra gave into us but there was a lot more which we learned because of yantra that's only because of the mentors at yantra so our mentors were again really really supportive they used to kind of help us all through the day even there were times when we were calling them when we were pinging them on discord at night at 11 12 pm and something that was really again unique to our project in the internship was we were one of the only teams internship teams who were making or constructing a real data set for the first time so we had constructed a data set which contains news articles and their bias is it positively biased negatively biased biased towards what so this was a data set for indian journalism made for the first time and again we were at the part of this so we had done something at that scale so uh, what i when i just look back and uh, think about the internship even now i feel like how did i do that from a stage where i was not knowing anything so that is again the kind of environment that yantra provides you to bring out your skills bring out your exploration techniques so that's all i could say and yantra had really kind of change the entire way of thinking in which i kind of think because i all already said in one of my uh, interviews at yantra when i was talking about the internship so when i used to scroll the linkedin post before the internship when i see projects people doing projects of something of this kind i used to feel like how are people of my age my background doing something of this sort but then with environment that yantra provides that's all possible guys so yeah that, that would what i would kind of suggest okay thanks thanks i it's nice to your uh, you know your journey what you kind of how did you actually went through go through each one of them so i'll just quote something from steve jobs uh, he says that learn continually there is always one more thing to learn so uh, it's it's so important you know like uh, sai also mentioned in uh, all his experiences where uh, he started from eyrc went to hackathon then to internship so there has been a continuous journey of learning so uh, sai would you like to share with our viewers that uh, uh, what has been the biggest learning that you've had Uh, by being part of this e antra environment like you were saying or the e antra community that is there the first and the foremost thing is uh, the branch that you study in the year that you study in and the college that you study in really doesn't matter actually i would just uh, tell one saying that he is uh, present in the 10th class textbook which i still remember and i even quote many times that is a uh, uh, story written by sudha murthy ji so uh, so in that story we'll have a quote saying it is not the institution it is not the college it is you you yourself who can change your destiny with your hard work so it is definitely not the college so when i used to think that like, how can these iitns kind of do projects like that so it is not something that iitns nitns or sastrites can do it is anybody who can do that okay so the only thing that has to be there in you is the kind of motivation that you can do anything and that motivation to do something which provided to all these yantra community by yantra by yantra mentors by kavi sir by everybody in the yantra community so even today when i talk to kavi sir when i talk to uh, deepa ma'am or anybody of the yantra community i just feel like the kind of motivation that they bring in to the students that just come into the yantra community with a uh, lack of very knowledge so they don't have a knowledge of what to do how to do how to proceed can they be doing it can that be possible by them so this is something that yantra brought up and brings up and it happens to every student who comes into the part of yantra so i had heard the same stories which i am telling you from my juniors as well so i have seen some of my juniors the previous year getting interned at yantra again so again they were again sharing the same stories and i would say one more thing here so actually when i was so i was talking about rcs at the starting of the uh, interview so rcs is a club in our college which deals with robotics stuff so we do robotics things so robotics robotics so obviously if you are talking about robotics and not mentioning yantra <laughs> it is completely kind of uh, meaningless so yantra was part of our community from the beginning of the club which i was already mentioning 
but we didn't have a proper training or proper sense of what is something that happens at yentra so we were all told to participate in eirc by our seniors and kind of we were sometimes forced because they knew what yentra is what yentra can impact you but we were something okay this is a competition chalo like agar nahi bhi kiya to kya hoga so but then what really happened was what really affected us is something that we know we know what yentra can like uh, impact us the way yentra can impact us so when for the first time we were seeing uh, e- like image processing based questions in yentra eirc competitions we were completely frightened it was not that we were not able to solve even if you can read the manual that yentra provides or the instruction that yentra provides correctly we can kind of cope up with it but then when we see it for the first time when we see the word image processing for the first time when we see the word simulation for the first time it really creates a kind of a uh, fearful atmosphere so what we had done was we are now training every batch who comes into our club for the first time we are training them with skills that are needed to kind of pass through the first second phases of yentra and the results of it are pretty straightforward to the yentra community so from the day when we started this the number of people getting into the finals is kind of we can say uh, not even double triple it is 10x so that is because of uh, this effort and we could get this only because we were a part of yentra community the previous year and we knew what it really can impact so we wanted our juniors also to have the experience and yeah and now i have recently heard from yentra that in tamil nadu uh, our college was the top for registering for eirc this year and that's a great news to hear from and i feel the effort of all the rcs like my co team has done has really created this impact and i feel every college should kind of uh, whoever has these clubs so i feel every college has these clubs when i had talked to different people in the colleges my friends are also a part of different robotics clubs in their colleges so as all of us know that enthra is something which is really big for us so maybe we can also start kind of training our juniors to get equipped with the starting foundation basic so that they did not kind of take a back step when they see words like image processing simulation which can kind of tense them at the first sight so yeah thanks sai thanks it's it's very nice to hear from you and it kind of reminds me of the quote which which i did mention the last time also in the yantrik session and uh, for the benefit of the viewer i would like to quote this from uh, brian herbert and somewhere you also actually mentioned this uh, aspect you know it's about the choice so he says the capacity to learn is a gift the ability to learn is a skill the willingness to learn is a choice so the choice is ours you know so we as students it's the choice that we have so eantra has many competitions uh, like uh, sai has mentioned about eyrc hackathon etc the innovation challenge registrations are going on right now and uh, i would really urge students to uh, participate in this competition and experience or rather experience a transformation in their lives through this competition so sai in that context why do you think a student should participate in any of the eantra competition as you mentioned sir there will definitely be a transformation there will definitely be a phase where I mean he can tell that before the yantra and after the yantra so the entire process is different and you getting into the community you interning with yantra that experience when you meet kavi sir when you interact with him that experience is completely different and you can only get that when you kind of completely go through the process give you 100% and then come here and i would not say it is uh, something that is really challenging really difficult that you cannot do if you put your efforts that you had been putting since your 11th class all of us know we were all kind of very hard working to get into iits maybe most of us or many of us couldn't do that due to some or other reasons but why don't you kind of try it once more try to get into a community which has um, richer experience that it can provide to you so just try it and give it a try and if you put your efforts completely i don't think that would be something that you cannot do so go ahead for that okay 
that's that's nice sai i i i think you know the appeal that you made to students they will definitely hear it listen to what you've said and tell us how have you uh managed to create this impact in sastra university where you know students have you did mention about the club which is there etc but uh, let's say you know for other colleges like uh, for them to get the inspiration as to how because uh, you're doing it so that your juniors or your uh, batch mates can learn and really uh, gain out of you know this experience of e yatra so tell us about that uh what i feel is like as i already mentioned most of the colleges which i have personally um, talked to with my friends have these clubs uh, like regarding robotics most of the colleges actually have so obviously what i feel is most of them would again participate in yantra but they will just be participating because their club is related to robotics just don't do that uh participate with a sense that you are getting into a much bigger world because what you are solving so the even the problem statements that are being solved for eyrc i have heard that again they are real world problems taken with real world inputs so you are trying to create a real world impact so it's a competition that you can kind of participate through and get your potential kind of explored and not only this if you are even learning machine uh, say image processing you are learning cv so what really happens is it is not just helpful for this competition it will help you throughout you can do projects on that you can build a good portfolio with the projects on that domain you can understand basically where is your interest domain so only when you kind of see through all the ways then you can understand okay this way is something that i can choose so it's really important for people in the first years to become a jack of all if you are uh, like king of one or not it's separate it's really important that you explore everything it's important that you explore what is android development what is web development what is robotics what is iot okay it's really important to kind of explore it because only then you can know where is your interest if you are only knowing about web development and starting to do that like how can you be able to understand or determine whether machine learning was or deep learning was or iot was something that you were interested in or something that you could be better at because you are only choosing web development going forward with that so it's really important for the people who just join the colleges and start exploring themselves to explore every other field so again when you equip that with your juniors that will continue and that kind of uh, what we say that impact will flow in like a tide and everybody will at the end get impacted and get succeeded wow wonderful wonderful sai and tell us that uh, did you benefit in your let's say any other internship or your final year placements because of the projects or the experience of yantra that you had so basically i had done another internship in my third year so when we were interning there i found one more co intern who was a part of yantra so we were like again we are a part of uh, the same internship so when we were discussing about this so we had a meet in that internship during that meet uh, when i saw this guy i was like uh, hey uh, his name is aditya actually so i just called him hey, aditya did, did you remember like we were part of yantra so when this came up so the manager over there from that company was really interested to know about the culture and that so we were very keen to explain him how that works how the procedure is how difficult it is to get a internship at yantra what's the procedure involved so Uh, that definitely changes the view that he has on the people there because we had already achieved something that's really difficult something that's really possible only if you're determined to do something that is really possible only if we are completely focused towards it so that really it changes their way that they see the intern that they see the people because again the brand iit bombay behind yantra is again a big plus point that's nice uh, sai so any final words for the students to encourage them so uh, there is only one thing that i would tell don't miss the opportunity you might feel that again i have seen juniors like my own juniors saying that uh, uh, anna like we are now in the second years maybe we will be more well equipped will be more skillful will have a much wider kind of uh, focus when we get into the third year we'll know much more things when we are in the third year 
then we'll participate in second year we, we won't participate that's what many people say to me personally i have heard this even from this batch but what i always tell them is see if you are getting a chance now don't miss it even if you are not able to get to the finals if you are not even get, able to get to the second round there is something there is experience that you will get and that experience if you are putting your 100% effort would be definitely helping you to change the way you see the way you solve problems and everything and most of the people think that maybe when we'll go to the third year or when we'll go to the fourth year then we'll participate in yantra because it's a big competition it's a competition conducted by e yantra so maybe we would only be then able to solve the problems there but that's not the case and many people don't realize that when they go through the year so third year fourth year they get more busy they get more equipped with other works so it's always better to use your first chance and give you 100% there even if it doesn't work you have a other chance wherein you will have a experience which you already have received from the pre- from a previous um, what we say attempt so this is a final word which i would say don't let this chance go go for it thanks sai uh, you know we, what you're saying about you know, the first chance in fact i've heard many of the students who have actually been touched uh, or experienced e yantra actually saying that do e yantra in your first second third fourth every opportunity that you have so uh, with that you know sai thank you so much for taking out your time and sharing or uh, your journey or insights or experience with us with students or uh, i'll just uh, uh, you know sum this up with this quote which says that it's an anonymous quote uh, today is your opportunity to build the tomorrow you want so uh, let's like sai also said let's not miss the opportunity let's grab the opportunity so the eantha innovation challenge registrations are going on right now don't miss this opportunity to experience what it is to you know participate in a competition like e yatra learn the whole objective is to learn 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 so uh, welcome aboard we'll be happy to have you uh, you can go to the portal and register yourself thank you sai and thank you the entire e yatra team for making this e yatra extension happen thank you Thank you.